Okay, YouTubers, we're back to uh, video upgrading the T-Mobile Vibrant. It's uh, kind of the mystery install. I don't know if it's installing a Android 2.2 or not. But uh, this firmware upgrade... Okay, uh, let's see. This is what it says here on screen. The computer screen. And here's what's going on with the phone. I had previously upgraded or updated the phone with the with the um, um, GPS fix back in September. So I don't know if this because I'm going through uh, Samsung Samsung site. I don't know if this is simply reinstalling that September update or if I have 2.2 uh, on here now. But we'll find out soon enough. This is the uh, screen. I'll say okay to that. I don't believe that the um, the phone needs to be connected to the computer right now because it's done it has completed the downloading and the phone is simply uh, rebooting and installing the update. You can see that um, you have to be patient. Uh, oftentimes what people do is they think something's wrong during this process right here where the phone is actually installing the uh, updates, patches, and upgrades, whatever. And so they start uh, disconnecting cables and whatnot. And if you are in uh, this process, you're fine with disconnecting the cable. But if you're on screen, connected when the uh, when it's actually downloading files to your phone you can get in a lot of trouble you can you can brick your phone that way okay this is uh, how I had my phone set up and now we can go soon enough and let's find out what this has installed. Okay, location. I don't know if you can read this or not. Yeah, let's 
see it has uh, redone my um, my home page and it looks so far it looks like it has uh, it has installed a new ROM updated ROM whatever but let's see we'll go to the I'm holding the camera sideways and makes for confusing this looks pretty good to me this is looking like it has installed 2.2 this has installed 2.2 there we go alright isn't that fantastic folks so enjoy the how-to on the video um, hopefully you can see this in focus that it says um, firmware version 2.2 .2. okay end of video